So when you enter, before you enter the museum, you will be offered Slatko. It, it's sort of funny when you offer food, all the things that happen in people's minds, you know, people kind of get uncomfortable. You know, will they think that I want too much or that I want too little? Or... And it's sort of, it's a good opportunity to have conversation. The greeting committee started at the Hammond Museum in Los Angeles. I was an artist in residency there and um, it seemed like a really good um, moment to test the idea of social performance and ideas of etiquette and civility and manners and to kind of zoom in on them. So it's a Serbian tradition and it's meant to sweeten the visit. Slatko literally translates as sweet. <laughs> It is also supposed to sweeten your tongue, meaning, well, I will give you this to sweeten your first impression or to bribe you. I like the word bribe you. Oh, wow. One really important thing to say that it is made by the curator's mother and the staff from my mother's recipe. And I think it's going to be really great because the, tr the show will travel. So wherever it goes, the, the curator of, of the next museum will have to make it too. <laughs> People really appreciate it when you've gone through the effort of making it yourself. Hospitality and the idea of host and hostage is etymologically very close. So you could be like an overly eager host that, you know, makes the guest into a hostage. <laughs> so I think there's a lot of very dark sides to hospitality. <laughs> is this a, just an empty action? Like, is this a just performance or is this coming from a, like a real place of like, I don't know, like openness and like willing to be open. Rather than sort of just going through the protocol of the tradition, include a sense of transparency to the gesture, which is like, why exactly are we doing this? Like, why do we make an effort to be nice with people? Because we want people to like us. Hospitality, it's sort of ephemeral. It's, it's not something that you see or you read, but it is something that you feel. That's a very mysterious and interesting thing about it. One of the, the main things is to assure that you don't have two different sets of protocols. So like the way that you behave towards people who are more important and then towards people who you think are not important. The Greeks had that with Zeus, the, the god of strangers, that he was a god in disguise. And, and you always had to be on your best behavior because the person who you think is unimportant could be God coming to test you. I think that hospitality and, and uh, congeniality is contagious, which is the really wonderful thing about it. It um, gives me hope. <laughs>